Elvis, you gonna miss me? Are you gonna miss me? All right, Edgar, who I'm going on the trip with to Las Vegas, parked up the street. I got my DJ controller and enough clothes for the day. I went to see to everybody. Okay. Hey guys. So we're on our way to uh, Vegas. How long is this gonna take us? Uh, we're running late, but we'll get there. That's not what I asked. I don't know how long. <laughs> I don't even know where we're going. MGM. Hi. Tonight, Piranha! It was a pretty smooth ride up to Vegas. Not too much to see. It's pretty desolate. And uh, we had that AC blast the whole time. It's like 110 degrees. The sky is beautiful though. Beautiful. When we get to Vegas, of course, it's raining, but we can take it. I'm gonna go park inside MGM. We are now charging this Tesla for the third time. I thought they made Teslas for convenience. I didn't give a shit. So we're in Vegas. No, it's five, five, four, four, five. Five, four, eight. All right, it's cute. I don't mind sharing a bed with you, but you're not wearing that mask. Oh, thank you. We're finally taking that mask off. Look at Edgar looking for a gym. Isn't it? Don't work. It's Las Vegas, and we have to leave in like four hours. Just. Relax, get something to eat, take a shit, take a shower, get ready for the night. Got a pump. What? You got a pump just to do some push-ups? I could. Yo, the MGM Grand literally has one towel. Oh my God, Amanda, she would go crazy right now, just for her. Just. I know they say they're trying to conserve. No. You can conserve two, they know there's two people in here. I, look, I have been, how long have I been a hotel? I have been in some not so nice hotels. I've been in the most basic hotels in the world. There's always like two towels at least, two, maybe three. But one, when there's two people here. Edgar, what do you think about the only one towel situation? Come on, towels! Now that's kind of fucked up because I want to shower, you want to shower. The fuck? We gotta have to rock, paper, scissors for it. Hi, how's it going? How are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh my god. Uh, anything else? Enjoy thank you. Anything else? No. We're good, thank okay, you. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. He's cute. He'd be cute if you had towels sooner. Yo, he brought the whole thing. Oh, nice. Shit, we don't need that much. Too bad I showered already. We're gonna have to shower seven more times. You ready? Let's go to Piranha. That rain, I'm not used to rain anymore, so any rain to me is crazy. Does it not rain in, in, in uh, does it not rain in Vegas? I don't is know, it like a, I feel like we're on the Eastern Hemisphere, so it shouldn't. Don't talk geography to me. All right, so I wanted to give you some footage of uh, Las Vegas at night, just so you can see what I see. We're, uh, Piranha is a little off the strip, and here I am, I just set up and uh, we're ready to go. We're gonna open this back room pretty soon, but look what I discovered. Let me show you this real quick. Let me show you this. Behind me, this is where I stand. Behind me, there is like a two foot drop. So if I step back, I could possibly break an ankle, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna be very aware of that. This is me with my nervous face. All right, so let's get this party started. They finally opened the back room. It's pretty lit, pretty quick. I'm definitely having a good time. They're feeling the vibe. I'm playing dance music for the most part. The dancers are really cool too. Oh, Boomer Banks, I love seeing my New York friends at other gigs. Boomer's one of the sweetest guys in the world. Do you know him? <laughs> uh, this is my friend Mike. He came to visit too. This lady is definitely feeling the vibes I'm playing. She is going in. Okay, so they have this drag show that happened uh, in the middle of the night. Now, I want to apologize to everyone involved. I forgot these drag queens' names, but they were really amazing. Some of the best I've seen. In Vegas, they're always professional dancers too, for the most part. So... These ladies really turned it out. 
this guy right here, he's one of the go-go dancers. He's like crazy body, crazy dancer. He was going off all night. Edgar, we love him. All right, so Boomer, Nebraska, and Kitty Glitter, they had a hot dad bod contest. It was actually really fun. This guy right here, I played father figure for him, and he was getting his life. Like, he was just having the best time of his life. I love moments like this. You can't say it only happens in Vegas, but <laughs> definitely does happen in Vegas. I ass everywhere without a doubt, and I am not complaining. Neither is anybody else. The night is kind of wrapping up right about now. It's kind of late, so I'm going to pack up and get ready to go back to the hotel. Okay, well, that was... Um, um, totally awesome. You think so? Did you, you, you don't have to go back down there. What's your review for the night? I had fun. All right, so we're back at the hotel, and I gotta be totally honest with you, Vegas kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth every time I go. Like, I love the people I work with, I love what I do, but, you know, Vegas just kind of represents the lost American dream to me, and people searching for quick money, and the promises of things that don't exist. It just, it's kind of depressing sometimes, and it's kind of dark. I mean, I just gotta keep it real. I see a lot of lonely people. It reminds me of people I know with gambling habits that don't really go anywhere and they just hope for some quick money and it's you know vegas is like a straight dream sometimes i don't know it's just like a mall you can drink in <laughs> you know drink and smoke and gamble i don't know i think they need more gay nightlife to like spark it up i don't know something about it just uh damn bad night but our night is now getting better because then we have cheeseburgers and fries we're gonna eat and go to bed thank you so much vegas Thanks for the hospitality. We'll be back, and thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful week. Big kiss. Mwah.